Welcome back to the St. John Speed Shop, fellow modelers. Got an update on that 71 Mustang. So far, so good. A few irritating screw ups. And another disaster with paint avoided. And we'll get into that first. I uh, used gray primer over the red plastic for the interior. Which ultimately came out better than I expected, considering what a nightmare it began as. But then I used racing white over the gray primer, and man, they just they just mixed and blended and smeared, and instead of being a nice white color, it looked more like the interior was filthy. If I hadn't painted the body already, I thought about dull coating that and making a beater out of this car. But I sprayed it again a couple of times and it came out all right. I don't know if it, you can see across the top of the dash here, it's still got that, that gray primer coming through. And that's with three or four coats of paint on it. I mean, right, boy, it's not like I just hate working with white paint. I almost guaranteed to have problems. But I used the uh, to my metallic orange as the accent color and it's looking pretty good. And a tan color for the carpet needed some contrast, but this this came out better than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be a real nightmare, but so so far so good. Chassis done. Three fifty one ain't too bad. Real simplistic engine, not nothing spectacular. I do like how the wheels came out. I uh, primed them. No, I didn't prime these. Just sprayed them metallic orange and hand painted the, uh, hub, the hubcap silver. That came out nice. Shaded it, gave it a clear coat. Real happy with those. Bob on a car, the usual. Now this engine's kind of a pain. The only place it makes contact is right there at the back of the transmission and the chassis. And the exhaust pipe, you know, kind of holding in place a bit, but that is it. Man, I, I hate kits like that. Dude, it's what happened with that Mercury. That's the only way you attach, and the engine broke loose, and hopefully we can avoid that in this case. The body came out pretty nice. Meta to my metallic orange and a flat black. That's looking good. I got the basic colors in the front end gonna do a little bit of touching up in that black had a bit of overspray here I, mean, I had this car wrapped in tape I must have missed a pinhole that's all it took uh, that just pisses me off but I'm not gonna worry about it maybe I'll try and spray it a little on there but oh well but the body's looking good. Not my favorite, not even remotely my favorite body style. I'm not a big Mustang fan, but after putting all this time and effort into this one, I have a little bit more respect for it. It's coming out nice. Once I'm done with this vid, I'm gonna get a get started on the detailing and shading in a couple of days. I gotta have the finished product to show you guys. But so far, kit's pretty good. I'd recommend it for a beginner. No problems with construction. But uh that's that that's pretty it's work, work, working pretty good. I like this kit so far. I'm glad my daughter bought it for me. She is way cool. Uh with that, you guys have a good one. I'm gonna get back to working on this Mustang. And with that, I am out of this Mustang.